If you want to learn the biggest first aid 2021 changes for the USMLE Step 1, then make sure that you watch this video until the end. For a chance to win a $50 Amazon gift card so that you can purchase this book, be sure to listen out for the code words that I say in this video and comment them down below so that you can enter this giveaway and win a $50 Amazon gift card. You can't think of the USMLE Step 1 without thinking about the first aid book. Because honestly, they go hand in hand. It is a book that is jam-packed with high-yield facts to reflect the most commonly tested topics for the USMLE Step 1. It pretty much follows the content outline of the Step 1 exam that's provided by the USMLE. So it is a definite staple for anyone preparing for this exam. We will analyze the First Aid 2021 version based on the number of pages, graphics or illustrations that were added, images, and new topics, as well as topics that have been removed when you compare it to the First Aid 2020. And we'll be looking at it system by system. As you can see here, the First Aid 2020 version had 832 pages while the first A2021 has 864 pages. So there are 32 more pages in the 2021 version than in 2020. This change in the number of pages is practically a trend for new editions of the first aid. So just for some reference here, in 2019, that version had 816 pages, while in 2020, 832 and in 2021, 864. So you might be wondering why 32 more pages? What exactly are on those pages and is it worth it? Well, let's first take a look at the first section, which is biochemistry. So the biochemistry section has added more comparisons and topics such as comparing marfans and homocysteinuria, the fed state versus the fasted state, and Anderson disease. For the immunology section, there has been addition of new lymph node clusters and they also removed some autoantibodies as well as removed some HLA subtypes. And bear in mind that this list is not exhaustive, so there might be more changes there. However, I'm just giving you an overview of the big changes that are clearly noticeable so that you can decide if you should purchase the 2021 version now, especially if you have your exam that's not too far away. So let's move on to microbiology. So for microbiology, several viruses were added or improved upon, such as dengue, Zika, and chikungunya. They also included drugs such as baloxavir, Another important topic that was added to the microbiology section is Panton Valentine Leukocidin. Pathology is where the least amount of changes or revisions were made. Basically, they added acute phase reactants and as well as radiation toxicity. Pharmacology. So in this section, they added how an increase in age can affect pharmacokinetics and also made mention of gynecomastia, and they practically added an entire page of drug suffixes as well. One of the major, major changes or additions, of course, has been to public health sciences, or of course, like ethics and communication skills types of questions that we could see on exam day. So they added a graph showing the different types of studies, also emphasizing patient-centered interviewing techniques, more information about how to deliver bad news, expressing empathy, and also trauma-informed communication. This section also included motivational interviewing, as well as the use of interpreters when communicating with patients and communicating with patients with disabilities. More ethical scenarios were also added to this section as well. Honestly, upon reviewing this book, I really noticed that they did try to make changes 
in line with the changes that the USMLE made back in October of 2020. And if you are liking this video so far, please be sure to power up the like button so that I know what type of content you like and also subscribe to MD Powerhouse so that you never ever miss another video like this. And don't forget to also share it with your friends so that they know about this review. Okay, now let's move on to the cardiovascular section. So they added comparisons between myocardial hibernation and myocardial stunning. And also they made mention of subclavian steel syndrome. Honestly, pathology and the cardiovascular system, there seems to be less changes made in those two areas. For the endocrine system, so they added non-thyroidal illness syndrome, as well as hyperglycemic emergencies and hypoglycemia that can be seen in diabetes mellitus, as well as a graphic for diabetes mellitus therapy and also a picture for Hashimoto's thyroiditis. For the GI section, a picture of celiac disease has been added, as well as cholangiosarcoma and therapeutic options for achalasia. And the section about Skatsky rings were removed. Now let's move on to hematology and oncology. So they included the comparison of leukemoid reactions versus CML, and HIT1 versus HIT2. Pentostatin was also added as well as other monoclonal antibodies and different therapeutic options were added into the heme onc section. For the musculoskeletal system, um, not as much was added, but there is mention of temporomandibular disorders as well as dyskeratosis. Now on to neurology. So there have been um, a number of changes in this section, but there have been like addition of images for like the cerebellum, Friedrich's ataxia, local anesthetics, and that's about it for the images. But for topics, they included therapy for insomnia, blowout fractures, tendon reflex grading, as well as restless leg syndrome like just a little bit more information about that and the comparison of primary versus secondary headaches which i do have a video up about that so if you do want to watch it then you can click this video right here or it may be in the description the code word for the giveaway is power up but instead of writing the O in power, write a zero. And leave that in the comment section below so that you have the chance of winning a $50 US Amazon gift card. Okay, so psychiatry. They made a point to emphasize the differences between malingering, factitious disorder, and somatic symptom disorders. Also, they included how we can prevent serotonin syndrome as well as a gambling disorder. And also a bit of information about motivational interviewing. Now on to the renal system. They added graphics for kidney anatomy and glomerular structure, as well as graphics for renal tubular acidosis. Reproductive system. So there was addition of supine hypotensive syndrome, as well as genitourinary trauma. And for the respiratory system, new topics such as rhinitis, medicamentosa, and radiation-induced lung injury were added. Overall, the first year 2021, the quality is just as good as the previous versions, and the graphics are pretty good as well. The only thing, as you know, is that 32 pages were added, so it's a bit thicker, more things to read, more things to remember. But I think that most of those changes reflect the content changes made in 2020. In my opinion, if you have been using your first aid and it's well annotated, it has all your information in it, and you've been using UWorld thoroughly and your step one exam is close by, I personally would not recommend for you to buy the 2021 right now. Like, let's say you have your exam next month. I wouldn't recommend it. But if you do have your exam a bit later down, it could be beneficial for you to purchase the book and to review the new content that has been added to it. 
But what's about you guys? What do you think? What do you think about the changes that have been made to the 2021 version? And if you have your exam close by, do you think it's worth purchasing the book before your exam? Let me know in the comment section below. And always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to power up that like button. It lets me know what type of content you enjoy so that I can create more. And subscribe to MD Powerhouse so that you never miss another video. But be sure to hit that notification bell so you know when I upload it. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everyone that watches my videos, especially those who watch until this point right here. So thank you so much for watching and to continue learning more, you can click this video right here. And remember that you can find the entire details of this giveaway in the description down below.